tasked with assembling an elite team to travel through time. All your worlds are about to change. Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome back to another Legends of Tomorrow episode of you. My thoughts on tonight's episode of Legends of Tomorrow titled Abominations. And I, I enjoyed this episode for a lot of different reasons. And I'll get into those reasons in a second. But I want to start out by saying something. You know, if any of you guys follow me on Twitter, um, not that many of you do, but just so you guys know, um, I last week I made several tweets saying that after this season, I'm no longer going to be reviewing Legends of Tomorrow. And after doing some thinking, depending on how these next couple of episodes go, well, I'm going to give it until the four-way crossover. And then after that, I might just stop reviewing the show. Then, um, you guys, I'm not saying for the for the, for the people who watch, I, I I always thank you guys for liking my videos and commenting and continuing the conversation. But not enough people watch the show in general, and not enough people watch my videos to really, you know, justify me doing these videos week after week because. My videos, you know, I struggle to get views sometimes, and I do these videos just for fun, and to also, you know, just be able to talk to you guys, but I feel like not, again, not enough of you guys watch the show, and not enough people watch my videos, or at least my Legends of Tomorrow videos, to really justify me talking about the show week after week. So, we'll see how the next few, these next few episodes go, and how the views on my channel go, but... Just so you guys know, for those of you guys who watch these reviews of Legends of Tomorrow and stuff, I may be, you know, stopping reviewing the show. Um, that's just the way it is right now, unfortunately. But um, I did want to say thank you guys for, for those of you who have been watching my videos since last season. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that, really. But um, to get into tonight's episode, tonight's episode was really, you know... It was in terms of it being a Jax episode and how the show dealt with racism like head on. I love that episode. And I think those parts of the episode made it one of the best episodes of the show. And then they have stupid fucking zombies. And then they have stupid shit going on with Ray and Dr. Stein. And just, I didn't care for anything else other than what was going on with Jax and Amaya. This, this is another reason why this show was hard for me to review because there's no real plot line going on. Like they tease us with the JSA, they tease us with the Legion of Doom. Yeah, I guarantee. I, I know we're only a few episodes in, but they're not really giving us enough of that. Like at least like with Flash and Arrow, there's you know at least some stuff there. And for those of you who who have been asking, I'm back to watching Arrow. Not like the night of. Like I watch it like the day after or when I can. The show has improved. But I'm, not, I'm still not reviewing that show. But to get back to this episode, it's just this show was really hit or miss in certain episodes. And while this the show had a great storyline going on with Jackson and Maya tonight, dealing with racism and slavery, and the hope that you know the slaves or the, the you know the hope that they inspired, and how Jax was just so moved by what they did for, like, for him, because. Jax and the actor who plays Jax, they re he really sh shocked me tonight because I've always liked him on the show. I liked him when, they, when he was introduced in the Flash, but he's a great actor. He gave out one of the I think his single handedly gave out the best performance of tonight's episode. Everyone else, I, I feel like they, they, they kind of mailed it in, but just the fact that he had to deal with racism, they, they dealt with it like head on, and. It starts out the episode with him saying, you know, I live my entire life as, you know, as black. And while he obviously in today's modern age, racism is still alive. And it's it sucks that that's, racism is still a thing. But seeing how moved Jax was by what he witnessed, the whipping of slaves, which I'm surprised they even showed it in the show. Um, the treatment of them and the fact that they weren't even like... That's, that's the sad truth that slaves weren't treated like human beings they were treated like property which is fucking insane that humanity did that 
like that in the Holocaust is just like I'm not sure if too far off topic, but God, humanity has done some awful things. They really have. And humanity, while I have more faith in humanity now, in, in my current generation, the fact that racism is still alive and people seem to have problems with other people just based on who they are as, you know, as a race or as their sexual orientation or their gender or whatever. The fact that we, had, we deal with people who just hate, just to hate and who are full of hatred and it's essentially just evil people. And the fact that, like, people, like, just, and seeing racism alive today is so dis disheartening because it's, it's an awful thing that we've done to each other as human beings. And I don't even like to think of, like, like African Americans and Asians and all these different people from all over the world. I don't see them as anything other than human beings. I think it's ridiculous that we have to classify everyone else as a different race. We were all born and raised on this planet. We're all human beings. I don't know why we can't all just accept that and love each other and try to do our best to be good people and not kill each other and treat each other like garbage and treat each other like like less than a, a person. And tonight's episode really reminded me of that and I, I was moved by it. And for a show as cheesy as Legend of Tomorrow, it had a powerful thing to say in tonight's episode. And I just, I loved what Jax went through in this episode and... I, I can sympathize as much as I want, but at the same time, I have no idea, like, in general, like, how, what people of color go through. I'm a, I'm a straight white person. I, I can't say I've experienced any of that. And that's crazy that, like, I can go on living my life and I'm not going to be discriminated because I'm, I'm a white guy. I'm not saying, like, I want to be discriminated against, but I just, I, because I was born a white guy, a, a straight white guy especially... I'm not treated differently than, you know, the way people treat, you know, African Americans or, you know, pe like homosexual people or transgender people or whatever, that no one looks at me twice for those sort of things. You guys know what I mean? So that's why, like, in tonight's episode, while those, those heart-wrenching moments of seeing slavery like that and just, again, seeing how moved Jax was and even Amaya to an extent. Like, I thought it was a great thing in tonight's episode. While I while I didn't love... Every, while I, I kind of hated every other part of the episode. Like, while I did like the ending where we see, you know, like, Mick offering partnership to Rey. Rey is such a hit or miss character for me, honestly. Um, and it sucks because I really like Brandon Ralph. I liked him as Superman. I liked him for the most part when he was Adam at first. But they, they I feel like they don't know how to write him. They make him a weak character. They make it seem like all he, all he does is complain and he's always insecure and he always just, always, always, just, he's not, he's not what I would want Ray Palmer to be in this show. And it sucks, and I wish they wrote him better, honestly. And, I don't know, there's, there's nothing, again, there's nothing else about tonight's episode that was really all that interesting. Other than, you know, seeing Ulysses like, S. Grant kind of help, or, or just give advice to Sarah about, you know, being a captain and leading the team. I thought that was a cool little scene. But other than that, the zombie things I thought were stupid. Um, I didn't care for what was going on with Mick and him turning into a zombie and Ray and Sign. I didn't care about any of that. But then, having such a moving main plot line of the episode with Jax and him dealing with the reality of slavery and racism, I thought that was a great aspect of the episode. And it was the best, hands down, the best part of the episode. And one of the best, honestly, parts of the season so far. So, um, with that being said, I think that's going to be it for me in tonight's review. Um, thank you guys for watching my review tonight. For those of you who are watching it, um, if you guys really want me to continue doing these videos, please let me know in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up if you think so, because honestly, if the show is as good as it is tonight with the Jack scenes and they make it fun and enjoyable and have an actual storyline and plotline to follow, I'll gladly review the show for you guys. But the thing is, it's just not getting not enough people watch the show and not enough people honestly watch my reviews and it sucks. Like, I do this for fun and I don't always necessarily care about what people think of what I say. But if my videos are only getting like 40, 50 views, then I don't think it's necessarily worth the time. Not to, not, not to discourage any of you guys from like not watching my videos, but if you guys want me to keep reviewing the show, 
let me know and be vocal about it. And if you guys do so, I will definitely, obviously, st st still watch and review the show. I'm not going to stop watching the show, but just reviewing it is something I've, I've been torn with these last couple weeks. So, if you guys really want, want to see me keep reviewing the show, again, let me know. And, yeah, so once again, the guys, thanks for watching. Um, you guys know you can just like like this video, please. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed already so I can, you guys can see my, all my other reviews to The Flash, um, Star Wars Rebels, Supergirl. Um, today, on well, this video is coming out Friday morning, but, or, yeah, so yeah, yesterday, uh, the Wonder Woman trailer came out that I did a reaction and review on if you guys want to check that out, as well as other videos on my channel. And, yeah, I'm done rambling, and so that's going to be it for me. So until next time, guys, have a good one.